So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. Now, I'm going to format the video a bit differently this week, so let me know in the comments if you prefer it like this. And also, while you're in the comments, let me know who you think will get an inform in the upcoming Team of the Week. And of course, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome too. Let's get into things. Okay, so getting into things, we're going to start off with the goalkeepers. So, David De Gea, I don't really want to talk about this one too much and most of you know why. Um, I bet you neutrals absolutely loved it, but as an Arsenal fan, that was a very frustrating game to watch. De Gea was amazing, making a record 14 saves in a Premier League game. Thus, I think he'll get an inform. 14 saves in a 3-1 win for David De Gea. Next to him is Brignoli, who actually scored a goal in a 2-2 draw with AC Milan, helping his team get their first league points of the season. So, GG to him, look up that goal if he get chance. And then finally, we've got the French goalkeeper, Magnan, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm terrible with names, as you know. He made a penalty save and made numerous other saves in a 1-0 win against Toulouse. Also got a pretty good match rating, so I think we'll see three goalkeepers this week. Right then, defenders time. Now, obviously the top three, those are the players who I think will be in the starting 11. The bottom two, I think will be somewhere amongst the bench and reserves. So, Felipe Luis got himself a goal in a 2-1 win against Real Sociedad. He was also the star player in that game, so that obviously could help. Nicolas Otamendi got himself a goal in a 2-1 win for Man City against West Ham. And still, Man City are unbeaten. How long will it last? Sidibe, assist and man of the match in a 1-0 win against Angers. That would be a pretty useful card if it did indeed happen. We've got Tosic of the Siktas who got a goal in a 3-0 win against Galatasaray. Goal and a clean sheet. That could be enough to see him get an inform. And finally, we have the German on the end who got two goals in a 4-1 win against Paderborn. And two goals for a centre-back is pretty impressive. And in a 4-1 win, surely he deserves an inform for that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. The midfield this week is potentially stacked full of some good looking cards and we could finally get that centre mid Coutinho. He got himself a goal and two assists in a 5-1 win for Liverpool against Brighton. Next to him is Perisic who could get a very very nice inform. He's got himself three goals in a 5-0 win so that inform should be nailed on. Another hat-trick was scored by Wayne Rooney and if you haven't seen his third goal you should probably go look it up because it's from halfway and it's pretty incredible. He scored a hat-trick in a 4-0 win against West Brom. That could be a pretty interesting card. Kingsley Kerman got himself a goal and man of the match in a 3-1 win for Bayern Munich. Okay, so on to run number two. We start off with Jesse Lingard who scored twice against Arsenal and also got a goal and an assist in a 4-2 win against Watford, sir. So, you know, it's been a pretty good week for Jesse Lingard. Next to him is Nacho. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 6-0 win for his team. And with them winning 6-0, I definitely expect at least one in form from that side in the team of the week. Next to him is Leonard. Now, if you didn't know, PSG finally lost. They've lost the game in Ligue 1. And this man actually got the highest match rating in that game. Now, there's a player called De Costa who got a goal and an assist in that game who could get the inform. But I've gone with Leonard to one, be different, and two, because I believe he got a higher match rating. So, uh, yeah, PSG lost 2-1 and this team, Strasbourg, deserve an inform. The final player is the Turkish League CDM in the bottom right. He got a goal and two assists in a 4-2 win for his team. The final page is the attackers, and as you can see, there isn't actually too many high rated options, so I do want to mention one thing. Higuain, he could get an inform for this week for one goal in Juve's 1-0 win against Napoli. But um, I just wasn't that confident in it with him being so high rated. Is one goal enough? But it was a big game, so he could get it. So maybe inform Higuain in this week's Team of the Week. But enough about him, let's talk about the players that I actually have included. So, Mesa Ozil got himself a goal and two assists in Arsenal's 5-0 win against Huddersfield. We've got a Gialiano, who got himself two goals in a 4-2 win in the Turkish division. I actually do have quite a few players from the Turkish league in my predictions this week, so I'm a bit unsure about um, there being that many, but we'll see. Serge Navri got two goals in a 4-0 win. Hopefully, this inform happens because it should be a striker card, and that could be pretty awesome. We've got Igboon who got himself two goals and an assist in a 3-0 win and that card looks like it could be a very good cheap striker option. The Celtic striker who 
whose name I'm a bit unsure about, so I'm just going to not say it because in case I butcher it too much. But he got a hat-trick in a 5-1 win, so he should definitely be getting an inform this week. He got three goals in a 5-1 win against Motherwell. We've got uh, Swiazok, who got a hat-trick in a 4-2 win, and Kobayashi, who got a hat-trick in a 5-0 win. Well, those were my predictions for the week, but just as I finished recording, this man Gomez has scored a hat-trick tonight in a 3-2 win against Girona, so he could be a very late addition to the team of the week. Anyway guys, those are my predictions for the upcoming team of the week, and I've said that phrase too many times in this video, but if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like on it, comment below who you think will get an inform, and also comment, do you prefer this format the way I've done my predictions this week, showing like the cards in different sections of goalkeeper, defenders, midfielders and attackers. If you want me to keep doing it like that, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll reverse back to the old method that I used to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be great. Remember to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.